Hello. All right. Let's try some watercolor. New watercolor products from Robert and Page, and Robert is one of my Twitch friends. Let's see, they don't have a lot of real life friends. So. Real life friends. Yeah, he got me this uh, circular watercolor paper. And these, and then Paige, I assume, is white too. It's like a portable, it's like a little portable watercolor kit with like a little brush. Um, that probably just using like I usually. I can usually use paints. Use them in conjunction with other paints when they need some colors. Hey Robert, yeah, I'm just showing up your your awesome stuff here. <laughs> Do kind of like a like a like a like a paper opening or a paper unboxing. How's the music by the way? It's not too loud, is it? I can usually turn it down so. Yeah, I think so. I think the yeah, I think the fact that it's circular is kind of a cool idea. And those paints are kind of cool. I'm glad you got me paints too. I appreciate the cool thing. The other hat. That's what we got here. I just shipped out uh, Tickle Nickels. Let me see what I'm doing wrong here. Twenty sheets. If I have to do it from the bottom, I don't think so. Oh, good. I'm glad it sounded good. I just started using uh, copyright free uh, YouTube radio. Uh, we've got a lot of wind here, so it might be it might be because it's so windy. Yeah, I'm definitely in the red too, so. Yeah, let me know if that helps because it could be my end easily. Easily be my end. I mean, if it's that bad, I might just in stream and try that off stream. Save that. Use it for when I mail something else. <clears throat> hmm. Eric and I try things. Yeah, it's uh, the paper doesn't come out very easily, but uh, I'm just trying to sort around that. There we go. Huh. 
So what I'll do is just paint right on top of here. Nothing like watercolor paper. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they're like really, uh, they're really stuck in there. Not sure if I'm doing something wrong or not. Oh, I can separate them. They just take a little effort. Yeah, it's like 20, uh, apparently 20 sheets in here. And I use my scissors to, to separate them. I'm trying to tear them up doing it. Uh, and I actually forgot to uh, look up a uh, picture to. Uh, draw to paint so give me a minute and I'll look that up real quick so yeah I mailed the uh, tickle and wits Whitney's uh, art off to tickles house and I did priority mail so hopefully to be there by Saturday but uh, the mail he was confused by the address about if it was one place or another a street or whatever the other option was and I didn't know either, so I just picked the non-street option. So I'm trying to find out. Hey, message tickle of the score. Is this the? Uh, is this where you at, or is this where you at? <laughs> I'm hoping it'll go to the right address. I have insurance, but I hate to lose the art. It'd be just a complete waste if it, if, it, if it got lost. So I'm hoping it'll get to her house. I didn't have trouble last time, so I don't know what the big deal is this time. Let's do mountain. As you're responding, I can't actually see you so, at the moment. I'm just looking up some mountain scenes and paint one of those. Check out this paper. I uh, kind of like, kind of like this one. So we'll do this one. Also, on a side note, if you're thinking about ever getting into like D and D, at this point, I wouldn't until they clear up some stuff because uh, yeah, the circle would be interesting to work with. I could also imagine, imagine maybe cutting it out, cutting out parts of it too. That'd be kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, if you're thinking about getting, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the OGL uh, snafu and stuff, but uh, open, open gaming license, basically the f version 5e of the open gaming license uh, in the game currently, until it changes in, I guess, 23 or whatever. Um, one second, I just kind of rush, rush the stream. I didn't really set up too proper well here. Anyway. Um, I want to stick with my original paint for now. Um, uh, let's let's uh, content creators and people who you um, um, the the current OGL let people content creators and stuff uh, just basically do what they want with the uh, with the product, make their own products and stuff, and actually make money of it. Uh, and uh, but the the new oh, the, the the new OGL will uh, allows Wizards of the Coast to basically take anybody's anybody's uh, content under the new OGL uh, and and use use at their use it, you know use as they want um, and they get 30 days and then they can basically just uh, basically just wreck their world I guess so that uh, basically just ruins content creation just people are like up in arms all over YouTube about all these content creators are freaking out. So, uh, yeah, I kind of got really greedy. I 
Cora. Cora. I saw you over in uh, um, Liz's server. Uh, so Robert, and I guess his wife Paige also got me, got me these circular um, watercolor paper and some travel paints. So I'm going to use the paper. I thought I'd just go ahead and stream it. For funsies. Cora's come on a couple times, like 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 uh, like early morning or whenever it was my time. Cause it's a different time zone for her, but yeah, she's been she's been AFK a lot lately. Larger than I'm used to painting on. Let me, um, let me get these new paints out. Let's try these out. health issues and got other things going on so not to speak for you Cora let's try this color here just plug me along So I feel like I need a bigger brush. That's too big. You guys don't like the music as uh, as a consensus. Let me know. And I'll switch to another station. Maybe something a little more relaxing. It's kind of fun painting on this size of a sheet of paper. Good, I like it. Yeah, she How do we like our pasta? Personally, me personally? Um, about the only time I eat pasta is like, uh, like in fettuccine or uh, spaghetti, mostly spaghetti. thought about it. Yeah, I appreciate you even thinking about it. I didn't expect anything gift-wise, so I appreciate it. 
always down for new stuff. Do I meet it? Uh, I don't usually make the sauce. I don't know how much, I don't know what she does with it. The we usually have some kind of meat meat in it. That's what you're saying. You run the rice stuff, sauce one time by eating ground meat because he killed the fast little thing. <laughs> That's too bad. As long as it was edible, right? possible to bring pesto sauce. Watching uh, Good Eats, 1999. Lots of pasta. I tried pasta for the first time on pizza last year. It was really good. I'm not sure if I've ever had that. Of course, I don't really go anywhere fancy or anything either. So. What's oh, fancy? It's so fancy, in fact, can't even say it right. Olive oil, basil, and pine nuts. Very interesting. I'll bust up this gray over here. Using your, uh, some of your uh, paint you got me. sure how to paint something this size I'm not used to doing that I've tried it before but they weren't very uh, very well the bones which that was a while ago Bob Ross techniques. I see. My mom just made chili tonight, so I had uh, some delicious chili.
Yeah, it'd be hard for me to do. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of that. That's what you're thinking, though. Yeah, she uses has beans in her chili. Beans, hamburger. That's a red chili sauce type of stuff. Type of red chili, I guess. Because around here they have green chili. Uh, sauce for like burritos and enchiladas and stuff, I guess. I beat the devil out of it. I beat the hell out of it. <laughs> he used to get his uh, camera crew covered in paint. So they had to start dressing like in rain gear. Okay. I just still I just know the way my mom makes it. So. She makes really good chili. I do like a I do like a good breakfast burrito though. If I can find a place that makes a good breakfast burrito, I usually go back. Whenever actually whenever actually went uh, out to eat, I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, there you go. I like those beans too. Apparently. I'm not quite paying the way that mountain should look. Let me rethink that mountain. Let me just use black. A little bit out of my element here. I can always cover it in trees too, so. Guy's rich. Hmm. Not really digging that mountain at all. It's like I suddenly don't know how to paint mountains. <laughs> right? I'll probably just leave them basically like that and then just do trees in front of them.
Yeah. I could probably fix it. It's just. It's a lot to work with. Hey, once it dries, I'll go over it with some. Uh, white and make a. Turn it into like snow. Unless I just cover it with trees, which is uh, what I might end up doing. Hmm. Let me try to add some white to. Into like snow. It's very uh, abstract looking. like a complete novice. But I'll see it through. If someone ever asked, if someone ever tells you to act your age, tell them, I've never been this age before. Having so much fun teasing my your teens, your teenagers. <laughs> You're good at it too, Cora. By the way. Yeah, your uh, oldest is you're actually your oldest is definitely the pickable person. She gets upset pretty easily. <laughs> of course she is. She's a teenager. Yeah, what are, you, what are you picking on? What are you doing to her? I'm in my daughter's bad books again while she's in stitches. Can you please Americanize what you just said? Am I teasing her by her school and boyfriend and whatever I can be putting in silly voice? Huh? Yeah, she hates those voices, doesn't she? Remember I used to play that song on your stream or whatever whatever that word soundbite was and she hated that too. Yeah, get your kicks, kicks in when you can, guys, because one day they'll be taking care of us. Or at least you guys.
Now I'm starting to take shape a little bit there. Just needs a bit more work. She's very good at being a teenager, it's funny. My oldest uh, nephew's seven and this visit at Christmas, he would say, hey, Uncle Robert, I'd re re uh, respond. Yes, nephew, too. yeah. He was confused. My dad gets confused sometimes. The young daughter says, Mommy, I respond, daughter, and she hates it. <laughs> she sounds very angsty. Yeah, I haven't heard any of these songs before. Whatever the, whatever the station's playing. There's a few to choose from, so... Bob Ross made it look so easy. I don't want to overdo it and just like turn it into a mud mix, a mix of muddy paints, but I kind of want to get to where I like it well enough to continue on. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Hmm. What do you guys think? What do you think of these mountains? All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them like that. about doing some trees you like them good that's good enough for me thank you Robert yeah actually yours was the only uh, gift I got today I got a card from someone another streamer that I've been following for a while and, I, and she started doing merch, and I bought some stickers from her. Commissioned flower field, meadow with a waterfall. I'm actually not pretty good at waterfalls. I'm actually really bad at waterfalls, so I don't even know how to do waterfalls. So you might want to reconsider that. I don't want you to pay for something that's this trash. So don't don't be go paying me for something like that. I don't mind trying to do it and seeing how it turns out and maybe sending it to you, but I don't want you to pay for it. You could just say loosely say commission and in order to you permission me to do something, but no, I don't want to. Problem with uh, schizoaffective disorder, if you get too far out of your comfort zone, you start stressing out. That's when you lose your shit, so just saying. <laughs> I uh, can't even think straight when I get stressed. I mean, I'm currently stressed right now, but not to the point where I can't uh, 
Uh, oh, I get it weird. Millennials don't call themselves trash. I've never heard of that before. Trash millennials. I don't know what the kids, any of the kids' lingo is. I have um, very young uh, great nephews and one great niece that are the oldest of them, I think it's seven. So, yeah, he goes to school, but I don't, I don't know what exactly he's learning or anything, so. Yeah, I'm only half serious though. I'm trying to use your paints mostly. They've got me. And a mechanic tire shop going 2.5 hours for a couple of diagnostics. Don't know. I've been at one. Don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. I really don't trust mechanics, to be honest. You guys just had the one car. Paige can't come and pick you up. Is it working? That's true, it's my life. That's my life in a nutshell right there. There's a little bit of darker color to the trees. Green life. Amen.
It's occurred to me that besides Bob Ross' influence, you probably paint mountains because you live in Colorado. Um, well, I have a view of the Spanish Peaks, so I mean, have every day I basically see mountains. But uh, no, mainly mainly it's because I watched Bob Ross when I was growing up. And he did mountains specific way now, so I was like, oh, I wish I could do mountains like that. And I still can't do them the way he did them, but I can get the basic mountain shape down. It's just it's just a YouTube video way to, to watch him do it some more, though. I really can learn anything off of the internet anymore. trees don't stand on enough for me I might uh, just get some lighter color on them um, try to find some lighter color over here next to me plenty to choose from I want the highlights to really stand out let's do this one here work at all. Let's see. Some green. Kind of like the color. Just like a few years ago, I wouldn't even be, uh, I think I'd be doing a lot of playing video games or posting bad art on Facebook. Didn't know anybody online, really. Start somewhere though. There we go. I think this is kind of what I'm aiming for in highlights. how that turned out. Definitely a slower processor this process than painting a car that's for darn sure. I'm a lot more deliberate in what I'm doing each time I add paint somewhere. I'm actually looking on my screen at the at the at this at this right here. You know I'm looking at a picture I'm trying to reference. I have an idea what I want to do. Yeah, five times a year. Yeah, it's 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 fun though. I'm glad you got me these. I could imagine myself getting better at painting on this size of the canvas. And uh, I'm not sure what I would do with all these paintings, but. <laughs> Cards are pretty easy to give away. I'm not sure about actual paintings. 
I'll post it and see what anybody thinks, you know. I'm not sure what to do about that part. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of blue. Hey, sunshine. Bring them and sell them. Yeah, I don't know about that. Angelica, welcome in. Oh my, good people are in tonight. Thanks, Cora. Please shout each other out, you know. These guys. These guys are modern. They've forgotten their mods. My mods. Well, you're fine. My mods. Robert has a dubious honor of being a VIP. <laughs> I'm a VIP, a VIP at least one of the channel, I think. At least one channel that I'm aware of. Maybe two. Of course, you're fine with it. I hardly ever do it myself when I'm in. When I'm on someone's channel, I just kind of forget. I do have my finger on the button if I see any troublemakers. So, Cord, did you know that Tickle Nichols is currently banned from Twitch? For like a week or whatever it is? I don't know if I told you or not. I can't remember if I told you. Maybe I told you when you were on. I don't remember. But yeah, she, uh, we were playing, um, yeah, mostly I just do shout outs for modding when I mod and I know how to, I know how to do the bands, you know, the, I think band and someone's name, I know how to do that. Um, uh, but I'm not like an expert or anything. Is, is anybody really? So... Um, let's see, what do I want to do next? Let's, I'll do some more like pine trees on the right hand side too. But yeah, she had some, uh, you know, some new people came in that were causing trouble by swearing and stuff, and she had an open Discord going, and I guess it somehow got, was connected to the uh, Twitch, I guess, or something, and anyway, it got her, Twitch banned her for like a week, so, which is unfortunate, so she's going to be doing streaming through Discord until uh, she gets her account back, so, lesson learned, I guess, don't, uh, Careful who you let in your Discord, I guess. It's too bad though, because a lot of people like like her, so. I might actually add some clouds too, but I'm gonna have to bust out some more white. I like that tree. this go down like this and turn it into a hill 
Well, Sunshine, how are you guys doing? How's your family doing? How are you and how are you, you? How is you and your family doing? How are all you guys doing? I thought I should be a decent, uh, decent streamer and interact with you guys, right? You're the worst luck Robert, when it comes to that game. It's the worst luck. Yeah, you're actually really good at uh, interacting with your stream, Robert. Keep things happening. Keep things fresh. <laughs> uh, I'm just glad I can paint and draw and stuff. Cause it'll be like, I might be like, play video games on it. Use all your luck up. No, I think you're still probably lucky. Maybe not in certain things like this stupid game, but I'm sure you're just doing just fine in the way. Yeah, you're lucky to have a have a lady in your life. You're not all that lucky. Some of us aren't that lucky, so I think it's drinking something here. The painting is starting to take shape. It sounds like a prince or something. Rip, rip prints. He's one of the ones that didn't like Weird Al using any of his uh, lyrics to make songs. Any of his songs and Weird Al songs. Round the shape. Gotcha. Are you referring to this? I'm in shape. Round is a shape. I'll have you know that I am losing weight. This is about as close to beating the devil out of it as I get. There we go. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I forgot what I said, so I'm glad you did remember. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm losing losing a little bit of weight every every few days. I'm losing just a little bit of weight enough to where it shows on the scale. So, but by the end of the month, thank you, Cora. I appreciate that. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it because of the mountains, but I mean, so far I do like it. I might. Uh, See if my mom wants it or something, I'll give it to her. If I could teleport to any one of you, I would. Right. I really don't know until you actually do the thing. I'm actually going to highlight that a different color, I think. And I'm going to think I'm going to do yellow. These are coming in handy. These are my bright colors, my new bright colors. I'm going to this one.
Man, if I could teleport, I'll tell you what. I would never drive again. I would forget how to drive. That's how bad it would be. I would teleport everywhere. If there were no rule, like, I wouldn't. Like, if I didn't need to see where I was going or if I had, didn't need to have been there already. But I could understand, like, you could literally look on a computer and look anywhere in the world on the computer and teleport if it's like a live feed. Because I guess if you're teleporting in a picture of a real place, you might risk teleporting into something that's there now, you know, like an animal or a object of some kind. Unless you're displaced when you teleported, like you didn't actually teleport into something, you just teleported beside it. Like it was a natural ability of your ability. Yeah, I think about this stuff too much. <laughs> a little too much. Uh, let's do some blue. Cause I actually watch a lot of superhero, uh, like different types of what different types of superheroes from like Marvel and DC and whatever on YouTube. So. That would be number three. You could have a combination of all three. You'd be a fairly decent power power mutant or being of some kind. You could teleport. Use your telekinesis to grab something. Teleport, or you could grab something and fly with it. Especially if you didn't have any. Uh... It's way too dark. Way too dark. Especially if you didn't have any uh, weight limit or anything. Why not? If you're going to have power, have all, have, have, all, have all three. You could be in a mega level loot mutant. Yeah, you could fly with telekinesis. That's what, uh, um, He's not telekinetic, but he uses, uh, the Magneto uses metal suits and stuff to fly around. Because he can, he can manipulate metal. Yeah, I've seen Jumper. It wasn't the best movie in the world, but I, I like the concept. It was kind of funny, some of the uh, action scenes and stuff, how they were jumping around and doing stuff. But yeah, I've seen it. I've seen a ton of Imperial movies, man. Even the bad ones. I like the constraints of his powers, especially regarding weight and movement, yeah. I don't remember too much of it. I remember they were in like Rome or something in the ruins. And the guy with the, the electric, uh, uh, whoops, electric, um, cables of where they could grab them and shock them and keep them from teleporting. Imagine being a hunter of monsters. How how skilled you have to be to order hunt something of supernatural abilities. Something that could kill you quickly. Something particularly dangerous. Even just a regular hunter of animals, you gotta really know what you're doing. You can't just go out there in the woods and bag of bear without it probably chewing you up. I think I read a sequel book to it where the girl got powers and jumped with him so much. So, yeah. Did you ever see The Thing? Uh, this is not the same deal, but have you ever seen The Thing with uh, Kurt Russell and uh, at the 1980s version of The Thing? Not the old one. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. It's got old 80s practical effects, which are really gruesome. And they did like sort of a remake, like a prequel to it, which wasn't as good, but I watched it anyway. Yeah, you're gonna, you're going to watch the thing, man. If you like gory monster movies, that's definitely the thing to watch. It'll definitely be the movie for you. If not, then don't watch it because you won't enjoy it. It's all practical effects and gore. 
Uh, do you know what the thing is, though, in those movies? It's basically a monster, an alien. Oh, okay, yeah, I used to be big time in the gore. Not so much now, but I used to be. But basically, the alien flies to Earth, sends ship, it flies to Earth, like, like, I don't know, thousands of years or whatever ago, and freezes in the ice in, like, the Antarctic, and gets dug up by, uh, uh, like a Swedish or a uh, Norwegian uh, expedition, and they cart the uh, the alien that had, that had crawled out of the ship. It's really weird looking. It doesn't look; it's just a mess. And so they it thaws out. Apparently, uh, you know, goes about attacking that that expedition site, but you don't find out really what's happened because all those, uh, because the American team. Uh, uh, well, anyway, it's a whole thing, but basically it's a thing that can transform itself, take over human bodies and animal bodies and stuff, and turn itself into one of them without uh, Mars attacks. Yeah, I've seen a lot of weird stuff when I was younger. Of course, it, it was different when I was a kid. Yeah. I could see that being scary for a kid, because those aliens were kind of kind of scary looking with their faces and stuff, so... Yeah, yeah, I liked Mars Attacks when I saw it. Alright, let me get back to this painting here. I gotta decide what I'm gonna do here. I could do a tree right here, I think. Then come down with a hill or something. I'll do that. Let's do this color. I kind of like this color. Where's that at? A waterfall. Man, right on a waterfall. I'm not doing no waterfall. That's funny. Trust me, I've tried waterfalls before. They just um, don't turn out. I'm not, I don't know how to do them. That's the problem. I would have to get on YouTube and look at a video on how to do waterfalls. I get the concept. I get where there's white and blue and color, but I don't understand how to do them. I don't get it how to do them. So. And some big flowers to get out of here. Bam. So speaking of banning, uh, I'll ban my like, only one of, one of three viewers. That'd be smart, wouldn't it? So, uh, Sometimes in the mornings I'll watch this lady. She's a Christian streamer. But as a joke, if she doesn't like, if you tell her a joke and she doesn't like it, she'll time you out for a few few seconds. She chim she timed me out for ten seconds because I told her a joke. She th didn't think it was funny at all, so she timed me out for ten seconds. Hey, Aura. I'm just joking around. <laughs> Apparently, Aura doesn't have ears. Thanks for thanks for talking to her, Cora. Cora, meet Aura. Aura, Cora, Cora, Aura, Cora, Cora. <laughs> Robert, you'll catch one one of these days. I know you will. Thanks for shouting her out. Yeah, she plays a lot of Sims. I watch her. Was ist das? Was ist das link you have this? Uh, what is your linking in my chat? Actually, it's Twitch's chat. I'm just borrowing it. You finally caught one on my stream, right? Oh, water! For the Man, I can look those up anytime. I'm not gonna stop paying just to look up that though. So sorry, not gonna happen. It. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if anybody can catch any of these Pokemon on here. But now you don't have a uh, excuse to forget to look one up. Yeah, I'm not gonna like come back to chat though when I close out the screen though. My only excuse is I just don't really want to, you know. So there's that. <laughs> Although right here would be a good place for a waterfall if you think about it. But just too bad I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to make them. It's a bummer. I think also what I might do is cut this part out here. Like along this here. And like over here. Just to see what that looks like. That's we're experimenting today. Another thing Bob Ross used to do is he would take like a square a square canvas and do like a circle like it inside of it or some shapes or another or a grid or something with tape a special kind of canvas tape then he would paint and then he would tear the paint on tape off and then he would like add trees and stuff into it it actually is a really it's probably the best excuse I don't really want to do that, so I'm not going to... Well, let's see here. What's next? Loss is next. I think we'll come across here. <clears throat> I agree, it is valid. <clears throat> I'll show my mom. She'd appreciate this. She used to paint back in the day. It wasn't that long ago she was painting stuff. That's where I get all my challenges from my mom. What I might do is like one of those tiny skinny trees that I do right there. But I'm not done yet because I'm going to add like little bushes and little specks of color and turns into like a little Feel the flowers and stuff like that. And that makes it stand out. Red flowers are always always the best. Let's we'll stick with this black here. Yeah, Robert, I'm glad you got me these these uh glad you got me these. Good call, good call. I'm glad that the paint stayed on the brush that whole thing. Yeah, tell Paige I said thanks as well. I appreciate both of you for getting me these this stuff. Flower power. Groovy man. When I was a kid, he said groovy a lot. 
Of course, I was born in the 1970s. So. Used to wear bell bottoms. All right. Quick, everyone, run, hide. The thing needs to be thicker. Or more branches or something. So I'm trying, I can't remember if you said you... Did I ask you if you did art? I don't know why I'm asking you again if I did. If I did. still there or not. Kind of excited to work on that part there. out some red yeah you're still there huh that's right for you You might have to. Just need Ariel in here right now. She's probably working though. Had all the regulars. Ooh, Purdy. It's Purdy. Like big into magical force and stuff like that. I've always, I've always been fascinated with that idea. Too many, too many fantasy movies when I was a kid. Yeah, it's turning out pretty good. I must say. I need to do something on this side though. Do something right here too. Let's do a different color though. Yeah, I am too. It really makes it pop out. It gives it a, just a total different element to the picture. <laughs> well, I hope he's a good guy. Yeah, I, mean, I kind of like it. 
Maybe I will at least leave it blank like it is. In which case, I'm just about done with it. Except for maybe cutting this part out. Yeah, I think my mom's really going to like this. If she wants it, I'll give it to her. I think I should do it like one of these skinny cheese over here, too. Like maybe a smaller one. Hmm. I think I will do that. Right there. It's more than something more than it has over there, so. Oh good, I'm glad you liked your in-laws. I guess you would have to. Like them. Okay. There's nothing I can really do about it, so I have delays in pretty much all my screens, so streams that I watch and streams that I do. I'm almost done anyway, so I don't worry about it. Thank you, Cor. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm going to do the trees here, and I think I'm going to pretty much call it done. For our first first one of these, that turned out pretty good. I don't know if you were you're here. I told you I'm gonna actually cut this part out right here. Not maybe not on stream, but I will do it. All right, guys. Well. I see that was probably a success. Maybe I should uh, sign it too, huh? Attempt at a uh, yeah. Thank you for uh, getting me these. It's definitely something to pra practice in the future, perhaps. You have a good evening too. I hope you get out of that. Get me mechanic shop soon. Yeah, I hope you do. Cora, Sunshine, Aura, Aura. Anybody else that's in here? Oh, you caught it! My gosh! Wow. Hallelujah.
Alright. Let's see who's online. I kind of don't feel like reading, but I want to double check anyway. Thanks, Cora. Thank you very much. This is on Purple Jays. Uh, on. I don't, I don't think I'm going to raid tonight, though. I feel like uh, going upstairs. So, take care, guys. Good night or good day or whatever your time zone is. Here it is again. See you guys. Love you all.